Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Now today, we've got something that I think is even cooler than blind bags. Prepare to drop everyone, we've got one, two, three, four drop pods. They didn't make very safe landings there, I don't think the pilots will be doing very well. We've got four drop pods, all from 2014 Halo Mega Blocks. They're old articulation, so I feel some nostalgia brewing. And we've got two ODSTs and two Storm Elites. I thought I'd open these up for you today. I think they're just such cool figures and they come with some cool weapons, some amazing base plates and these really cool two-piece metallic drop pods. So, we'll start off as we mean to go on with this ODST, which I'm seeing more than double of. We've got five of them. We're only going to open one though. They've got this tiny bit of film on them and they're a pretty cheap design, but they were also really cheap as well. You could buy these for like three or four pounds, four or five American dollars, and I thought they were one of the cleverest things that Mega Bloks did at the time, because we only really had drop pods and then more upscale sets. This was a cool way to get a nice figure in a drop pod without paying like 10.99, 11.99. They pop off in two pieces, they have this cool little cardboard backing that holds them together. And then inside, we've got a little instruction manual and the figure. Super simple, but honestly, like I said, one of the coolest things that they've made. And there's nothing cooler than this instruction manual. That looks awesome. All four of those ODSTs. I used to have these, actually. These were a giveaway. These were in the goodie bags at one of my Blocks Fest events. The red ODST drop pods were always the first to go. Oh, look at that. Doesn't even come assembled either. That's nice. Okay, so let me take this opportunity, as I always do, to give you a couple of life updates, tell you what's going on with the channel, tell you my progress moving to Hong Kong, and a dozen other things. The old articulation figure is always so easy to put together, but the ball joints, sometimes a little bit hard to snap together. I used to remember when I built like loads and loads of blind bags at a time, the base of my thumb would just get really sore because I'm pushing these ball joints in constantly. All right, so a blue ODST. I think shark fin ODSTs definitely made popular from red versus blue. And look at that, what an awesome figure, especially to get for three or four pounds. It was such a smart move from Mega Bloks to have a cheap ODST that you could buy in really small quantities or really bulk quantities because you could afford it. And at one point, our supermarkets in England were selling these for one pound each, like one dollar each. It was crazy. I love these sets. I thought you guys might enjoy seeing me open them because they are just, they're pure nostalgia for me. I just, I love ODSTs more than anything else in Halo. And these are really cool indeed. But we're gonna save the green ODST to later on in the video. Wow. Let's open one of the Storm Elites. Here we go. We've got a purple one. Now back in the day when Halo 4 came out, I know the reception for the Storm Elites was pretty bad. Everybody hated them. I've never been on that field. I've always enjoyed them. I mean, I would obviously prefer Halo 2 and 3 Elites, but I mean, Storm Elites are from a different faction. It, it made sense to me that they, they look different, they were from maybe a different world, but like, it, it, the art style always made sense to me. I mean, obviously the art style of changing Master Chief's armor while he's in cryosleep makes no sense, but I always liked that they introduced a new kind of art style for the Elites. You don't want to just do the same thing over and over and over. And now it makes sense that the Elites are going back to like the Halo 2, Halo 3 art style, because they're banished, and again, they're a different faction, so it's okay. But I like the Storm Elites. I really liked the Mega Block Storm Elites. I thought they looked hideous. They looked like proper mercenary, like ugly boys. I really enjoyed them a lot, and I loved collecting them in Mega Bloks form. And these were some of my best ways to collect them. I've also not mentioned yet that they come with this sort of really nice metallic Halo base plate. Awesome for displaying. And again, it comes with a two-piece drop pod. This one is a Covenant drop pod. And again, a super easy way to get hold of drop pods. But we've got a different instruction manual for these guys. Let's open it up. Whoa. There we go. Okay, so this one came out, was this 2015? No, it still says 2014, but this came out a bit later as they were introducing the new articulation. And these blue 
ODSTs were basically the exact same between old and new articulation, and, you know, new articulation was just so good when they introduced it with ODSTs. I loved it. I always thought the helmets on the old articulation ODSTs were better. I loved this little sort of, like, snub piece on his chin. I always thought it looked funny on the new articulation, but the general figures, especially the chest plates, awesome in the new articulation. But yeah, this was like the transition phase. They were only doing human figures in new articulation, sort of just feeling it out, see, seeing what the response is. And the response, I think, was very, very good. It's always nice when they show such awesome instruction manuals, especially like these drop pods falling in the background. It's awesome, really nice. And especially nice when they're fighting enemies because like they're just sort of running around. They're not fighting anyone, so that's always cool. Okay, so life update time. As I am recording this, we are currently nine days away from moving to Hong Kong, maybe eight days away, which is, oh my goodness, can you hear this fly? Oh no, it's a bee. <laughs> There's a bee and it's buzzing a really, a really loud buzz. At the time of recording this, we are currently eight days away from moving to Hong Kong and starting our new lives. And it's all been made possible thanks to the sales on my eBay and also the sales of my merchandise, my t-shirts, which you can find, link in the description below. They're currently on sale, so you can get a really cheap t-shirt. Okay, we got two more drop pods. Which should we go for? We'll go for the other elite. Let's compare the other elite. I want to save the best till last, you know. You gotta finish, you gotta start and finish on an ODST. There we go. That wrap can actually be pretty difficult to get off. Okay, we've got another elite here today. Let me know in the comments below which you prefer, the sort of red glossy metallic or the purple glossy metallic. I like the red one quite a lot. I go back and forth. Okay, here's our second elite. They were always, they, they looked pretty good, these designs. I loved all the printed detail. I thought that was amazing back in the day. And they have some nice paint applications on their armor and the red dots on their eyes are pretty spot on. They were really cool figures. And this came with the beam rifle, always a nice one to get. And I was especially a huge fan of the metallic purple weapons that the Storm Elites had or the Storm Covenant had. I thought they were awesome really cool and I sold a lot of Storm Covenant on my eBay recently. There we go, we've got two of those elites. And guys, like uh, you may already know, once I get to Hong Kong we will be quarantining in a hotel for 14 days. So I will basically have no money and basically any money that's raised through my eBay or through the online sale of my merchandise or eventually through a Patreon will be the way the continuation of this channel can be secured because especially the fact that I'm moving to Asia during a pandemic, it's not, you know, it's not the best timing, but when, you know, you can't wait around in life for the situation to get better around you. You've got to act, you've got to take an opportunity, you've got to roll with it, and you've got to make a better future for yourself. So that's what I'm doing right now. I've been five months in UK lockdown, and it's time to move on. It's time to progress. Okay, there's our one, two, three, four stands. They're, they're all really nice. Sort of this like forerunner style, sort of basic shapes behind it always looked really cool. I am in love with the new Halo Infinite packaging for Mega Constructs. It looks beautiful. Here is the green ODST. There we go. And he comes with one of my favorite weapons of all time, if not possibly my favorite weapon ever, the SOCOM pistol. I just thought it was amazing in Halo 3 ODST. They did such a good job of adding the suppressed SMG and the SOCOM, which just like switched up the gameplay so much. I loved the SOCOM. It was pretty reminiscent of the Halo CE pistol. This one, this ODST comes with like a light gray undersuit versus the black of this blue ODST. I like the dark gray undersuit, I think it's really cool. I think a lot of people like the black undersuit because it's kind of like covert ops, but I like this gray one. I feel like this gray one is sort of more standard commission. It's like what an ODST might actually be wearing. But then again, ODSTs do a lot of covert ops missions, so it could go either way. They are super sweet, awesome stuff. And who else is excited for Halo Infinite gameplay in two days. I feel like I have been preparing for this moment for like five years. I, I cannot believe it's two days away. I'm shaking with excitement. And yeah, this was another unboxing with The Domain. Thank you very much for tuning in today and let me know if you enjoy this kind of video or you enjoy seeing drop pods being opened. I'm not sure if you would. I am going to give away this sealed blue drop pod 
to one of you guys. All you have to do is like this video, subscribe and turn on that bell, then comment down below saying Halo Infinite Height. And one of you will be picked to get this Metallic Series figure free of charge shipped to your house. Thanks for all the support as always. This transition will be very strange moving to Hong Kong, but I know you guys will support me every step of the way. Once I get to Hong Kong and I'm in that quarantine hotel, it'll be nothing but unboxing videos and blind bag openings to your heart's content. Exactly what you guys like. Thanks for tuning in. And the two ODSTs, SOCOM and Assault Rifle at the ready, no, no, he, oh no, he fell off. So come an assault rifle at the ready. Oh no, so come fell off. Like, come on, are signing off.